Shalom, Yashallah, Shalom. First and foremost, I want to give all praise, honor, and glory to the Most High Yahweh. I do so in the name of His only begotten Son, Yahweh Shai. Double honors to the apostles and the elders of Yasharallah. Call Haloyim La Yahweh by Hashem Yahweh Shai by Hashem Kodash. Blessing our elders with the spirit of truth so that we may know. Shout out to the Akim and the Akwa that's keeping the faith in the work. Shall keep at it. This is your brother Abaya coming at you with more precepts. Uh, this is the book of Isaiah, chapter 33 and verse 6 says, And wisdom and knowledge shall be the stability of thy times and strength of salvation. The fear of Yahweh is his treasure. All right. The Most High didn't bless us with this knowledge and with this wisdom for no reason. All right. It's to ultimately have us walk in wisdom, which leads us to endurance, which guides us to salvation. Right? He that endures unto the end shall be saved. Right? To be able to walk in this wisdom keeps you safe from harm. Because you're walking in um the light instead of the darkness. The darkness being un me meaning unknown, meaning you don't know where you're going, you just, you know, moving. But if you're walking in light, your your path is lit up for you. So Yahweh by Shimia was shy already got a path. Uh, of safety for his people right and all you got to do is just stay on that path but that comes through first and foremost how about you know i dealing with you dealing with your spirit right and blessing you with his holy spirit right and you know the word right and the spirit that's inside of this word right um, before i go into this topic um i'm um uh evoking the Copyright Act of 1976, right? Um, because I'm finna use this man um, video in order to prove a point, in order to teach a point, right? So with that, I'm gonna let this video play and I'll be back. At the World Economic Forum session on Tuesday discussing the prevalence of disinformation and hate speech laws in the U.S., many participants had valuable contributions, valuable contributions to make. One in particular had a chilling prediction that's sending ripples through the political world, led by <laughs> renowned journalist Brian Stelter. This panel seemed destined to be both provocative and thought-provoking for socialist-living countries. The conclusion drawn by one participant in particular shocked many with its foresight. As we move into an unknown future, could this be the nightmare that will truly awaken Americans, or will it be our reality? Town Hall reports the World Economic Forum's panel on the clear and present danger of disinformation at their annual meeting in Davos on Tuesday contained a chilling prediction on hate speech laws in the U.S. The disgraced CNN host Brian Stelter hosted the panel, which also included Representative Seth Moulton and the New York Times Chairman Arthur Greg Salzberger. Salzberger called disinformation the most existential challenge and whatever problems with reporting stories <laughs> inaccurately, watch. So I, th I think if you look at, at um, this question of disinformation, I think it maps basically to every other <laughs> major challenge that we are grappling with as a society and particularly the most existential among them. So disinformation and in the broader set of misinformation, conspiracy, propaganda, clickbait, you know, the, the, the broader um, mix of bad information that's corrupting the information ecosystem. What it attacks is trust. And once you see trust decline, uh, what you then see um, is uh, societies start to fracture. And so you see people fracture along tribal lines and, um, and, uh, and you know, that immediately undermines pluralism mm -hmm. and you know the undermining of pluralism is probably the most dangerous thing that can happen to a democracy so i really i think if if you know if you're spending this week thinking about the health of democracies and democratic erosion i think it's really important to work your way back up to where this starts then Salzburg went even further to pat his institution on the back by labeling them trustworthy and stating, when we make mistakes, at times we acknowledge them in public and we correct them. Watch. As, as, as you're teaching them to recognize a lie, I suspect you're teaching them to recognize um, trustworthy sources, whether that's, you know, an institution like the Times or the Post or the Journal, 
whether that's um, scientists, whether that's academia, um, but there, you know, just being discerning about trust and in in some ways finding institutional proxies. All right. So the devil basically saying that he's tired of the people not believing what he has to say and believing uh, opposite of the lies that he speaks. Basically, the devil been lying and been caught in several lies and it get put on blast. Then that lie, they get put on blast. The person that brings out the truth of it, you know what I'm saying, gets persecuted for a while. Then once the people, you know, pretty much knock down the door, then the devil has no choice but to reveal certain truths. Just like that thing, right? And that, that thing that shut down the world, right? Certain truths were being brought out from the jump. But every time certain truths would be brought up, the devil would persecute, take down videos, strike people. You know what I'm saying? Medical misinformation this, and medical misinformation that. Until it came to be found true, everything that was being struck, right? Did nobody come out and apologize and say, well, we're sorry that we struck these people's videos for this, that, that, and the third? No. It just moved on like everything was all good. But see, that's the thing. The most High said that this devil would be exposed. And the more exposure this devil receives, the closer to destruction this devil becomes. Or this devil comes to, rather. This is the book of Second Thessalonians chapter 2. And verse 3 says, Let no man deceive you by any means, for that day shall not come except that come falling away first, and that man of sin be revealed. The son of perdition who opposeth and exalteth himself above all that is called power or that is worshipped so that he has power sitteth in the temple of power showing himself that he is power. Remember ye not that when I was with, yet with you I told you these things and now ye know what withholdeth that he might be revealed in his time and now is that time. Right now is the time for all the lies to be revealed. The Most High didn't allow the devil to create the internet for nothing. This ain't just for no entertainment. This for you to actually find facts, for act to actually be able to find data that you weren't able to find 10, 20, 30 years ago. Now you can get it easy at your fingertips, right? And the the, the information that we're receiving is contrary to the lies that's been told. By the devil. All right? Verse 7 says, For the mystery of iniquity doth already work. Only he who now letteth will let until he be taken out of the way. And then shall that wicked be revealed, whom Yahweh shall consume with the spirit of his mouth and shall destroy with the brightness of his coming. All right? Even him whose coming is after the working of Satan with all power and signs and lying wonders. All right, so the more this devil get exposed, the closer he becomes or the closer he comes to being destroyed. All right, and the devil is like, hey, y'all going to have to stop not believing everything that I'm telling y'all. <laughs> All right, and basically what he's about to say is they need to present legislation to stop right, the truth from being revealed, which led us to, uh, you know, Isaiah, um, well, uh, which will lead us to rather Isaiah 55 and 6 and Amos 8 and 11. I'm going to bring that out too. For trust, um, you know, where there are reliable, transparent standards, you know, for example, in an institution like mine, when we make mistakes, we acknowledge them in public and we correct them, right? Um, and I think that that's going to be a, a big part of this. I also just think that at some point, um, you know, given the central role of the platforms in um, mm -hmm. disseminating, um, you know, uh, you know, bad information, um, I, I, I think they're going to have to do an unpopular and and brave thing at some point, and which is to differentiate and elevate trustworthy sources of information consistently, consistently. And the Czech woman who is the vice president of the European Commission for Values and Transparency said there are reasons why many European countries have strong speech codes and the United States will soon follow. Here are her thoughts. Take a look. Speech 
Well, we need the people who understand the language and the case law in the country. Mm. Because what qualifies as hate, hate speech, as illegal hate speech, which you will have soon also in the U.S., I think that um, we, we have a strong reason why we have this uh, in the... Yeah, I'm going to cut off right quick. You heard what she said. Y'all will have some in the U.S. You're not going to be able to say everything you want to say. You're not going to be able to present all the information you want to present. It's written in the word for a reason, right? This awakening was only meant for a, a certain amount of time. If you don't have faith that the word is for real, I mean real faith. I ain't talking about you putting on or you faking in front. I'm talking about you really believe the word is true. If you don't have that now, you need to be praying to the most high to get that. Because eventually, you're not going to be able to receive the word. Right? It's only for an elect number of people. 144,000 mighty men, one third of the most high's people. Period. It don't go beyond that. And if you don't get it, then you fall into that two third realm. If you fall into that two third realm, you are doomed, according to the word. Right? Which is the book of uh, Isaiah, chapter 55, and verse 6. Seek ye Yahweh while he may be found. Call ye upon him while he is near. Better get it while you can, man. Right? All that ha ha he he when it comes to the prophecies and the word that's written in the book that tell us about the times that we're in, tell us about the times that are past, and that tell, and that tell us about the times to come. If you don't get it now, man, you're going to be living in them prophecies, them end time prophecies, and they, and they speak so harsh to individuals who don't, who don't believe. It speaks so harsh of the Most High's people that he loves so much that he gave his only begotten son for. It speaks so harshly for two-thirds of those people. Two-thirds of the Most High's people will, be, will get put to death, will be tormented. They ain't talking about underneath earth after you die in fire, right, with some dude in red with a pointy tail poking you with a for I ain't talking about that fable. I'm talking about you're gonna be tormented on this earth, and it's gonna start soon, right? Better get it while you can, man. All right? Criminal law. Uh, we uh, we need the platforms uh, to simply work with, with the language and to identify such cases. The AI would be too dangerous to do that. Mm. Uh, where I see the usage of a, 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 AI uh, useful for detection is when the AI discovers uh, AI production. Mm. Here I speak mainly about the bots and the, the production of, of disinformation, especially from, from the uh, St. Petersburg uh, troll factory. There was a lot of it. And, and here... I have the answer to those who always shout that we are censoring and we are not protecting freedom of speech. The protection of freedom of speech belongs to those who are real persons. Mm. Man, did you hear what that letter just said? The protection of freedom of speech are for those who are considered to be real people. Do you understand what that means? That means that if you go against the status quo, if you go against what the higher ups say, if you live your life that way, you are not considered a real person to be able to be taken seriously with the words that you speak. Meaning they don't have to protect your, your speech because you're not a real person. You don't matter. You don't count. Who does that sound like? Who who walking around here talking about your life matter? No, no in, in marches and protests and wearing t shirts and shit that say your life matter. Okay. You better you better wake wake your ass up, man. You only got so much time. Keep playing with the Lord you want to. Keep thinking that this ain't we just on a rock that's just floating and ain't no purpose of being here. Other than getting as much money as you can, having as much fun as you can, getting as high as you can for as long as you can. There's a whole nother purpose behind the scene. And you too stupid to see it. Literally. Scripture said my people are solid. Solid means stupid. 
wise to do evil, but uh, to do good, they have no knowledge. Yeah, better start learning how to do good according to the word. Because you're going to be held accountable real soon. All right. Um, this is the book of Amos, chapter 8, of verse 11. Behold, the day is come, said the Howard Power, that I will send a famine in the land, not a famine of bread nor a thirst of a thirst for water, but of hearing the words of Yahweh. Right? Eventually, you're not going to hear the words, and this is what that means. Matter of fact, let me go to the book of Habakkuk. Or Habakkuk. Uh, chapter 2 and verse 3. It says, For the vision is yet for an appointed time, but at the end it shall speak and not lie. Though it tarry, wait for it, because it will surely come and will not tarry. What that means is the prophecies pertaining to World War Three, <coughs> Jacob's trouble, on um, um, the mark in, in Revelation thirteen, you know what I'm saying? Persecution of the saints. Uh, all of these are set for an appointed time. Before that time comes, the Most High puts the Spirit in the prophets to warn the people of times to come, so that you could possibly avoid danger, possibly avoid certain persecutions. And uh, avoid life threatening situations possibly. Right? And it's only for a certain amount of time because once the word is taken away from the earth, you don't hear the word no more. The reason why you're not hearing the word anymore is because the thing that was being spoken about is actually happening. Ain't gonna be nobody in the middle of Jacob's, Jacob's trouble warning people of Jacob's trouble because you're gonna be in Jacob's trouble. Ain't going to be nobody warning you of ICBM missiles coming and, and tearing up the door to Babylon because missiles will be coming to tear up the door to Babylon. Ain't no, there is no warning in the midst of. So when the word gets taken from the earth, that means persecution is on the way. And if you ain't mentally prepared for it, because that's the only way you can be, it ain't, ain't a gun on this planet that can keep you, keep you safe. I don't care how much food you stockpiling. I don't care what fraternity or gang you associated with. None of that's going to save you from uh, the hand of the Lord. The only thing that's going to save you is your how about Shemir al dealing with you spiritually. And the only way you're going to be dealing with you spiritually is if you've been dealing with him. Scripture says, I love those that love me and those that seek me early shall find me. Not those that have been playing with me or fronting like or those that don't care nothing about me at all. No, I love those that love me. And them that seek me early shall find me. Period. Right? So once the word is, once you don't hear the word out no more, that mean watch your ass. Because you in real life danger. To my real dear danger. Right? So I ended with that, man. Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shara Tazah. These precepts in this video were edifying. Call Haloyim La Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai Bashim Harachah Kodash Shalom Yashallah.